The end of one story is the beginning of a business. For most people, a wrecked car, a pile of scrap and rusted beams are nothing but trash. For a few, this is a gold mine. And the giants that make this transformation possible are metal shredders and hydraulic presses. They're not simple machines. They are the silent engineers of an industry that turns endings into new beginnings. Every year, millions of vehicles reach their final journey. Bent frames, rusted engines, parts no one wants anymore. If nothing were done with them, they would pile up in landfills too massive to control. But this is where the first protagonist enters the scene. The Shredder. With steel blades capable of devouring an entire car in a matter of seconds, its brutality isn't for show. It's the key to turning chaos into useful fragments. An industrial shredder can process up to 20 tons of metal per hour. What once took up massive space is now reduced to compact pieces, easy to transport. But the most important part is that those fragments have an immediate destination. The smelter. Recycled steel sells for between $150 and $300 per ton. And that price turns every destroyed vehicle into revenue ready to be collected. Now, imagine you own a plant equipped with one of these shredders. You process 3,000 tons of scrap in a month. At an average of $200 per ton, your gross revenue would be $600,000. Half a million dollars generated from material that others saw as nothing but waste. But shredding is only the first act. For this metal to reach its true destination, it needs to undergo its final transformation. And this is where the second protagonist enters. The hydraulic press. Where the shredder is chaotic force, the press is crushing precision. It takes the loose fragments and compresses them into dense, uniform blocks. The reason is simple. Shredded metal occupies far too much space. Transporting it in that form would be costly and inefficient. Instead, by turning it into compact, opaque cubes weighing from half a ton to two tons, storage, transport and selling become optimized. Each block is a modern ingot, ready to be loaded into containers and shipped to steel mills waiting for it in different countries. This process has an impact that goes far beyond finance. Recycling steel saves more than 60% of the energy that would be required to produce it from ore. Every recycled ton is one less ton of iron ore extracted. And a significant reduction in carbon emissions in a world that demands sustainability. These machines are a powerful response, delivering profit and responsibility at the same time. But let's return to the business. A plant equipped with shredders and presses does not depend on trends or passing fashions. Its market is stable and universal. Scrap will always exist, and steel will always be needed. Industrial recycling is, in simple terms, a business armored against time. That's why industry giants in Asia, Europe, and the Americas have invested billions in facilities like these. And yet, there is still room for local entrepreneurs who focus on regional markets. The secret lies in the full chain. Securing a steady supply of scrap, operating the machines efficiently, and having buyers ready for the final product. Those who master that cycle turn mountains of cars and beams into consistent revenue, month after month. Once the metal has passed through the shredder and the press, the story is only beginning. Those compacted scrap blocks are not an end point. They are the raw material that travels to the smelting plants. There, massive electric furnaces reach temperatures above 1600 degrees Celsius, enough to return steel to its liquid state. During that process, impurities are removed, alloys are separated, and additives are introduced to create new materials with specific properties. From a single batch of scrap, you can get steel ingots ready for construction, sheet rolls destined for the automotive industry, beams for skyscrapers, rails for trains, or reinforcement bars for large civil projects. You can also recover metals like aluminum and copper, both highly demanded in the production of wiring, electric motors, and electronic components. 
Each type of material has its own market and its own price, multiplying the opportunities for profit. The economic value is remarkable. A ton of recycled steel that was sold as scrap for $200 can be transformed after smelting into products that reach between $700 and $1,000 in the industrial market. That difference represents gross margins up to four times the original value. And when it comes to finer metals like copper, the upside is even greater. What seemed secondary as scrap can, in refined form, be valued at more than $8,000 per ton. In other words, shredders and presses are only the first stage of a much larger business. The real potential is revealed in the smelting plants, where compressed blocks become the raw materials that feed construction, infrastructure, automotive manufacturing, and the tech industry. This is where metallic waste reaches its maximum value, completing a cycle that transforms rusted cars and old beams into the components that build the future. Think about the contrast. Where others see a graveyard of rusted cars, the recycler sees inventory. Where others see the end of an old machine, he sees the beginning of a skyscraper, a highway, or a high-speed train. The difference isn't in the scrap. It's in the eyes that know how to see opportunity. The future of this industry is only growing. Analysts estimate that the global metal recycling market will exceed $500 billion within the next decade. And every dollar of that figure depends on the brute force of shredders and the relentless precision of hydraulic presses. These machines, which at first glance look like steel monsters devouring without mercy, are actually guardians of efficiency. Their power isn't destruction, it's transformation. They are responsible for turning the old into the new and the discarded into something valuable. And that is where the true greatness of this industry lies. Not in the deafening roar of shredding, nor in the violence of a press crushing tons of material. The greatness lies in the rebirth they create. A car that once became scrap can return as a bridge supporting thousands of lives. A rusted beam can come back transformed into the backbone of a skyscraper. What others call waste, these machines turn into wealth. What seemed like an ending becomes a beginning. And within that cycle, between the shredder and the press, hides one of the most powerful lessons in the world of business. Real value isn't always in creating something from scratch, but in knowing how to transform what we already have. What do you think? Is scrap a problem or a hidden gold mine? Tell me in the comments and subscribe to CDC Creators Club to keep exploring the businesses that transform our world.